Christopher Columbus was an Italian explorer, navigator and colonizer, born in the Republic of Genoa, 1451. He is most famous for sailing across the Atlantic Ocean and claiming parts of America for the Spanish Empire in 1492. He and his crew sailed to Central America, Venezuela, Greater and Lesser Antilles, San Salvador and Hispaniola. He initiated the colonization of the New World. However, Columbus was not the first to explore the new land. There were, according to historians, many other explorers that may have discovered the continent. But Columbus's adventures led to the first lasting European contact with America, which is why his story is classed as the start of the colonial period. So if Columbus did not truly discover the new world, who did? Well, America was named after Amerigo Vespucci, who was an Italian explorer and navigator. He demonstrated in 1502 that Brazil and the West Indies did not represent Asia's eastern outskirts as initially thought from Columbus's voyages. Because of this, the continent became termed America after Vespucci's first name. But although America was named after him, he nor Columbus discovered the continent for the first time. The Chinese have been suggested to have found the New World before Columbus, according to Gavin Menzies' book, 1421, The Year China Discovered America. Menzies suggests that a 600-year-old copy of a map discovered in a second-hand bookshop proves that the Chinese discovered the New World years before Columbus did. The explorer was Admiral Zhen He, that apparently charted and mapped the New World with some detail. An even earlier story of the discovery of America happens nearly 500 years before Christopher Columbus set sail across the Atlantic. A Norse explorer named Leif Erikson, according to the sagas of the Icelanders, landed on the shores of North America. He established a North settlement at Vinland, tentatively identified with the Norse Allens Orcs Meadows on the northern tip of Newfoundland in modern-day Canada. There is even a story in Wales suggesting that Madoc, a Welsh prince, sailed to the New World in 1170. Or maybe the Irish saint Brendan, an Irish monk who in the 6th century is said to have undertaken an ambitious voyage. Saint Brendan's legendary Island of the Blessed has actually been linked with North America. Even the ancient Hebrews, Japanese and Polynesians may have got there first. So if St. Brendan existed then the Irish should be prized with the discovery of the New World. If he didn't, then the Vikings should take the credit. But Columbus did start the colonisation that became modern day America. So what they teach us in school is actually incorrect. Columbus discovered parts of America that were already colonised by the Native Americans, from which he committed atrocities against Native people on the island and decimated their populations. But the reason why he is famed for discovering America is the transition from an isolated and relatively primitive region to the modern nation state you see today. And it really was Columbus who set that process in motion, even if he didn't get there first. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Make sure to check out some of my other videos. Like and subscribe for much, much more to come. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time.